All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Joint Operations Center here at the Atlanta Public Safety Headquarters. And we are joined here with a lot of our partners uh, tonight. Uh, first, I want to thank our Chief, Chief Sherbaum for his great leadership today and the men and women of the Atlanta Police Department, the Atlanta Fire Rescue Department, our 911 operators, Georgia State Patrol, the GBI, uh, the FBI, our state and federal partners, as well as our partners in Fulton County, uh, DeKalb County, MARTA, and others. Atlanta is safe and our police officers have resolved the disruptions downtown from this evening. Thanks to the quick action of our public safety officials working together, order has been restored in a swift manner. Uh, the City of Atlanta and the Atlanta Police Department will not, uh, will not tolerate this and we continue to protect the right to peacefully protest. Uh, we will not tolerate violence or property destruction. The Atlanta Police Department and our law enforcement partners are fully engaged and have the resources to protect our residents, our visitors, and our businesses in this city. Again, I wanna thank Atlanta's firefighters, our police officers, our 911 operators, EMS, and everyone else who has helped to keep order in our city. My message is simple to those who seek to continue this type of criminal behavior. We will find you and we will arrest you and you will be held accountable. Uh, we have arrested several of them this evening and Chief Sherbaum will give you the details on that. Many of them don't even live in Atlanta or in the state of Georgia and they don't represent the voices of Atlanta. And to those, and some of them were found with explosives on them. Uh, you heard that correctly, explosives, and that has led to a, a police uh, officer's car being uh, set on fire and other destruction has occurred. And so make no mistake about it, these individuals meant harm to people and to property. And so to the people of Atlanta, I have said from the beginning of my administration that keeping our city streets safe is my uh, top priority and we will continue to leverage all of the city's resources to make that happen. And so tonight you saw good swift police work in collaboration with a lot of our regional and state partners. And I'll turn it over to Chief Sherbaum so he can give you more of the details from tonight. Chief. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. I want to again start by acknowledging the support that we have here at the podium with the Georgia State Patrol and Sheriff Labatt and the key uh, role they have replayed this evening in restoring order to our city. Uh, this department is equally committed to two things. We will protect the First Amendment rights of every citizen and we will stop lawlessness wherever it may occur, occur in Atlanta. And we were prepared tonight for both of those eventualities. Uh, a protest was being held earlier tonight about 5 o'clock in the underground area of the city. Uh, that group started marching north on Peachtree Street uh, in a peaceful manner and this department was deployed to protect that right of protest. However, when that group arrived at the intersection of Ellis Street and Peachtree Street, a group inside that uh, marching crowd decided to start committing illegal acts, which included the breaking of windows and also attacking uh, police cruisers that were in the area. That immediately changed the focus of this police department. And those that were in the area will see a rapid response from Atlanta police officers, Georgia State Patrolmen, and Sheriff's deputies. And within two blocks, the illegal activity had been stopped and we had made arrest of six individuals that chose to take the First Amendment as a shield of, of illegal activity and we stopped the protesters that were acting illegally, had them in custody, and had order restored on Peachtree Street and in the downtown area. There are three businesses that received damages to their windows. The investigation is continuing to determine who that we have under arrest that may cause that. And if there's someone that committed a criminal act that we currently do not have in custody, we're using all of our investigative resources to ensure we identify them and we bring them to justice. The mayor's already mentioned that we have a number of federal partners that are here with us in the building. That is the ATF, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. We also have the Attorney General's Office of the State of Georgia, as well as the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Because even though we are just a few uh, hours into this investigation, we already know uh, that we have arrested actors that have already been involved in other criminal activity and are involved in a manner to deter uh, the building of the Public Safety Training Center. Every citizen of this city should know that where criminals should arrive inside of Atlanta, Georgia, they will be met by their police department and they will be met by the collaboration that stands behind me. And anyone that attempts to break the peace and the security of Atlanta, Georgia will be held accountable. And we will protect the First Amendment for everyone that chooses to peacefully do so. Our department is equally committed to both. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Mayor Chief will now take questions. Questions? Yes. 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 Yes
question for you, Chief. Yes, sir. Uh, was the police unit that was set on fire, was there an officer inside there, or was that that uh, unit abandoned or left or empty? You know, we are very fortunate tonight that when the men and women of law enforcement responded, none were harmed. And so no uh, Atlanta police officer, no sheriff's deputy, nor Georgia State Trooper has been injured tonight. And the men and women of law enforcement put themselves in a very dangerous situation to quickly end this criminal activity. And so we were able to answer your question by saying no, no, no law enforcement was injured tonight. And I also think we should note that no citizens on our street was injured. Uh, and protesters put them in a very dangerous situation. The mayor has already spoken about the, the explosive devices have been recovered. We can tell now, early in this investigation, this was not uh, the focus tonight just to damage windows in three buildings and, and set a police car on fire. The intent was to continue to do harm, and that did not happen. I have one more question for you, Chief. Is, is there, a lot of our viewers are saying these are no longer protesters, these are rioters, right? Is there a fine line bet between that with the incidents that happened here tonight, between protesters and rioters? You know, protest, and I've said this before, is engaging your elected officials. Protest is raising your voice. Uh, folk, uh, protest is standing on the courthouse lawn, the city hall lawn, on every sidewalk. And this is the police department, as quickly as we move tonight to arrest vandals, we protect with the same dedication men and women that exercise their First Amendment right. And so it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist or an attorney to tell you that breaking windows and setting fire is not protest. That is terrorism. And that they will be charged accordingly. And they will find that this police department and the partnership is equally committed to stop that activity. Chief, you arrest me tonight uh, with Fox 5. This is a question for you and Mary Dickens. Can you guys kind of give reaction to just the bold nature of this and this ongoing issue that's been happening since last year surrounding this uh, training facility? What were your thoughts when you got wind of what was going on today? Well, you know what? I, what I know, because I've been involved for a number of months now. This is a very small group of individuals uh, that we're dealing with. And we're, I think we're going to see tonight that the, some of these individuals we've already uh, dealt with in this situation. So we know it's very small, and we know it's not representative of the citizens of Atlanta, and it certainly doesn't re reflect the values of our city. And so I'm very aware of that. And I know that the mechanisms of the collaboration of law enforcement that stands behind me, uh, the prosecutors that are engaged in this case will hold those accountable, and we will start to see this activity diminish, and we will eventually see this activity end. It's only a matter of time. Chief, the arrest made tonight, do we know yet if those people were from this area or if they were from out of state? We're still reviewing that now. But you said in the past it's typically been people from out of state. Yes, uh, I don't know which, uh, which news group it was. Recently we saw this great graphic of everyone that was arrested this past week. Not a single Georgia resident in there. It, it was from across the country. And I, I don't want to give anyone a, a, their own promotion for your news agency, but go look for that graphic and see where each arrestee was and what state they were associated with. I think that speaks for itself. That will be forthcoming. Uh, we already have prosecutors in the room as we speak, and we're reviewing everything. We have a lot of evidence to still go through. So even charges you see tonight, those can easily be upgraded, and they will be upgraded if appropriate.